couple of weeks ago, I did uh, a kids' homeschool class at College on the Square, and I showed them how to use a jelly plate and print leaf papers. And then we ended up making a little journal. And so we used leaves. I've got my collection of leaves over here, all kinds of sizes. I've got yellow, this is Walmart paint, harvest orange, flamenco red, and I might throw in some turquoise just for grins. We didn't use that color in our project. I have a th something on my brayer. Anyway, so I'm going to start off with yellow. We'll just do a plain yellow background to start off with. It doesn't take very much paint. And I have it in one of my other videos about how to clean your brayer. And you can use alcohol and soak it a little bit and then uh, just a paper towel or a, a gentle cloth to clean it and that acrylic paint will just come right off without, a, out, without alcohol. And I'm going to clean my brayer off and this is a sheet of deli paper and turn that up so it doesn't stick to the paper. And I've got a few little streakies in there. You could do this in a couple of colors but we're just going to do it in yellow. And so this is just a regular piece of paper Put that down. And there we have our yellow background to start off with. Now we'll do orange. And you could do orange and yellow if you want to, but we're going to have that yellow background. We're going to use that one to go back onto that yellow paper that we just made. Clean my brayer off. Put the veins down. And just kind of put them in random places. I've got a couple of little leaves to use also. Maybe we'll put that one over there. There's a nice one. that and that. All right. So press this down really good all between the leaf shapes. Now you could tape your paper down you know, so that you could put it right back in the same place, but I'm not going to worry about that, but you certainly could. So now I'm going to see that looks really good like that. I'm going to pull that off and that one, and I'm holding this kind of so it'll hold its shape. Put that right back down. This holds its position, not its shape, its position. And I've got one more down here. That looks pretty cool. We're not going to go very far with that. Then we're going to do a different kind of leaf. We're going to use the flamenco red. And I think I don't have quite enough paint, but maybe, maybe. I think that's going to be good. All right, clean the brayer off. Turn it over so that it doesn't stick to the paper. All right, let's get some different leaves. We've got that one. And we'll throw in a couple of more little oak leaves.
Okay, and you can stop right here, and then it doesn't have the veins of these leaves. And so you've got all of these really cool shapes, but I'm going to go ahead and take this up. You know what? I think I will stop right there. That's what that one looks like. And I have another plan for this ghost image. So this is the one where I'm going to put down some turquoise. It's really warm here today, surprisingly enough. I think it's supposed to, in a couple of days, it's supposed to be down to freezing, but today it's very warm, and my studio is very warm. So that's going to pick up those leaf shapes that are on the bottom side that I left on there, those little vein shapes. And... I might just go ahead and put down a couple of more of these. Let's see if I can not put these back in the same place that they were. Don't want that one right there. There. That. That's all those on the same side. So let's let me change this over just a little bit there. There it probably really doesn't matter. So I'm gonna take a clean sheet of paper, but I'm gonna use this time I'm, gonna, I'm going to use cardstock. You could use uh, mixed media paper. So it picks up those colors that are underneath, but let's go ahead and do this one more time of getting rid of these leaves. That's what it's looking like so far. That's pretty cool. I should have probably just done that just like that. That's how you learn. It's kind of the what if. What if I did this and what if I did that? I think that turned out pretty cool. And I could do just a plain yellow layer. This would make everything green on here. Uh, but I'm not going to do it. I think I'm going to leave it with the turquoise. This was the print that I pulled after I uh, put was just doing a cleanup, and I just put yellow on here. And this was the leftover of this that was still there. So that's pretty cool like that, too. And for the last one for the day, I had one that was really similar to this. And so I put just yellow on the jelly plate and did the overlay, and I knew it would turn it green. And I like that. It's not really fall, more spring looking, but it'll work. And this is what I ended up with. my cleanup papers. Let me show you one more cleanup paper. These are pretty cool. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure you give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.